All right, guerrilla marketing. So you built an app. Now what? The word guerrilla uh, doesn't actually mean ape. It mean, it's a Spanish word that means little war. So it's like seven or eight guys are sitting around and thinking, we want to overthrow the government. And someone else says, there's only like eight of us. Well, we're going to need a little war because we don't have an army. <laughs> So if you're going to have a little war, you've got to choose your target, target very carefully. It can't be everyone. Find your niche. Who are the specific group of people who will use your app? And if it really is everyone, try and just pick a neighborhood or something. Focus. Remember, Facebook was originally just for college students who are misogynists. <laughs> where, do, where do people's eyes go? Find your audience. Follow them around. Stalk them. <laughs> you might not be able to put an ad in the newspaper that they look at, but you might be able to see them go into a concert and hand them a bottle of water or something like that with your app on it. You can go to their neighborhood. You can sit on the L. Uh, yeah, follow their eyes. The media loves a hook. <laughs> like uh, Million Dollar uh, Blocks, one of the coolest apps, in my opinion, to come out of this was essentially a hook. What do we have? Crime statistics. Boring. We're spending a million dollars on one block. That's a hook. Find a bigger partner to help you out. <laughs> if you think you can't handle it on your own, or you can maybe use some help. You know, we're just a little, little group of folks, but we can find a bigger nonprofit business or uh, perhaps a government <laughs> to help out. And last but not least, keep it minimal and manageable. <laughs> it's really easy to come up with a whole lot of ideas, but it's very hard to execute a whole lot of ideas. It's a lot more fun to uh, think up stuff than it is to hand out bottles of water on the hot street all day. Thank you.